It's all about the dream project. Trying to stop things that haven't happened yet. Trying to do our best, better than the rest. The MVPs are putting us to success. Never heard of the Millennium Development Goals? No, I haven't. Uh, Millennium, Millennium Development Goal, what do you mean? Can you clarify that a little bit? With the what? Say this again. Millennium. The Millennium Development Goals? Have you, have you heard of them before? I have not. I have not. Sorry, it's the same nope. <laughs> No. About the what? The UN Millennium Development Goals, does that ring a bell? Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. The Millennium Development Goals are that by 2015 it is possible to eradicate extreme poverty and hunger. Achieve universal primary education. Promote gender equality and empower women. Combat HIV, AIDS, malaria, and other diseases. Reduce child mortality. We reduce maternal health. Ensure environmental sustainability. Develop the global partnership for development. Kids in South Central Los Angeles live in a community ruled by fear of gangs. Just surviving can be a challenge. As Marta Waller explains, one inner city school has become an island of safety. We can do it now. We can turn it around. These are eighth graders at Celerity Nascent Charter School in South Central LA. They're deeply involved in the Dream Project, an offshoot of the United Nations Millennium Development Goals. This song was written by the students to describe how they will be a part of making the eight goals happen. Those goals are lofty to be sure. Eradicate hunger and poverty, achieve universal primary education, promote gender equality, reduce child mortality, improve maternal health, combat diseases, ensure environmental sustainability, and form a global partnership for development all by the year 2015. Eight of the eighth graders, along with Celerity founder Vielka McFarlane, just returned from Honduras where they met with the Honduran president and first lady to talk to the president about implementing these ideas into the curriculum at schools throughout Honduras. They shared their experiences in Honduras. One boy talked about giving pencils to school children. Many kids just came up to me, rounded up, like if, it, like, if I was giving out money. McFarland says the Dream Project is giving these young people a real sense of self and empowering them to see themselves as leaders with the potential to make a valuable contribution to the world. We are creating a community of leaders in which expectation of excellence is, 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 what's, is what we do. On, on the first day I said, what if the cameras are rolling and you're asked a question about an idea that you might have to change the world. What if the camera picked up that the answer that you had and somebody heard it, somebody that was in a position of power to be able to do something about it. They put your idea into, into practice and the world changed. My big idea mainly is just to give, whether it be money or physical support, wherever I can give it, and just help people who are in need. In the meantime, come up with ideas for the future. My big idea um, is to hopefully combat HIV and do as much as I can. Of what you say matters, whether there's a camera rolling or not, somebody's listening. I can actually, I can actually feel about how, how it was good to actually help people like that, so I can actually feel it. So I would love to do something like what he did. They can brag about meeting the president of Honduras in order to be famous in their neighborhood rather than having to go to jail and tattoo a couple teardrops on their faces. This is where the president gets together with all the people when they're making ruling here in Honduras three times a week approximately. The first lady used this room too for special occasions, for big ceremonies, lunches, and we got lucky that this place was open today that we came to the presidential house of Honduras because not many people get to see this place. And our kids that are working on the Dream Project at Celerity School got lucky and they're actually enjoying this beautiful place. In addition to that, what, what is more powerful or more empowering than going to a school, helping the Dream Project and doing all there with delivering school supplies and shoes and other articles of clothing to school children at a school that's not as fortunate as ours. We can do it now. We can turn it around.
know, the world needs dreamers, but and doers actually, but the world needs dreamers that do something.